Hello everyone, welcome to eSupport for Research. Today we will discuss importance of keyword in a paper and how to search this keyword. There are two aspects of it. Let's say somebody is writing an article and that time he or she wants to use exact keyword which is required for that particular paper. Another aspect of it is somebody is searching your article or let's say the article that has been published in your area which where you have published so how they can come or they will lend to your article so that you know if somebody will read your article there are chances that they may cite your article so we'll understand this concept the first thing that we like to understand is where this keyword will be used if you have published a paper here if we see the keyword will be mostly used in the title of the paper or it might be in the abstract where you have written so what will happen that if somebody is searching your article or as I said the article that are published in this area so they will be using few keywords like it is on breast cancer diagnosis and some hybrid rule based feature selection has been done and deep learning algorithm has been applied. So let's say somebody is searching breast cancer or cancer detection using deep learning algorithm. So this keyword deep learning as you might be seeing in the keyword section as well deep learning feature selection expert system somewhere here deep learning in short dl based algorithm then <coughs> breast cancer detection so all this keyword now is being used in the title abstract and keyword section so the first thing that you need to understand is that as you have a command over the field and you know what you are writing and then you have to think somebody else like to read your article so what keyword they are going to be used in the search platform like google google scholar scoopers web of science and they might lend to your article so that they might read your article and they can cite your article so this is one thing of it which i think now you have an idea now let's move forward and we'll see what are the different platform that are available uh, we can say the search platform so here when we say the search platform you might have Google Scholar, somebody like to uh, do a search, have no access to other platforms, so he or she can directly go to the Google Scholar. Then <coughs> you have Scoopers, it might be uh, subscription based if your university is not having that licenses. Uh, you can have Web of Science, that also on subscription, then Science Direct, then IEEE Explorer or Springer Link or other you know, platform dedicated platform or dedicated publisher platform then you have other you know doza and other platform where somebody can search and try to find out published article or they will be searching using the keyword as initially they do not know the exact frame that to be used or the exact sentence that to be typed to search so mostly the keyword will be used to to target or to locate different article that being published in that area so that is what we need to understand and next thing when we say these are the platform and uh, if we like to understand the keyword the importance of it and in terms of citation so let's say if you see here google scholar citation here you can see the some sort of exponential growth uh, for uh, you know five year time frame that might be possible if that article or that author has used you know a keyword that are relevant for that particular paper and author are or the researcher are reading those paper which the author has published and they are citing it so this keyword when we say if you are using it properly then the citation there is ch chance that you will have good number of citation over the time period 
so the selection of keyword is very vital when we talk about citation and you know the importance of citation once you get citation then you will, will have h index the growth in h index i10 index and other sort of you know research matrices uh, of a research profile on research matrices again i have another video which uh, you can check my playlist and you will get to know about the indexing and the research matrices there also will get idea what are the research matrices of an author of a university uh, profile that that need to be maintained in a scientific community so let's move ahead and now <clears throat> as you know what are the importance of it and now we'll discuss the platform which i was talking about the first thing somebody you know as a you know somebody like to explore or like to search something so he or she will go to the google scholar and what he or need she need to do is first sign out because if you sign in you have your search history and might be it will reflect uh, from your search like wh what we're trying to do here is auto complete or suggestion that will be suggested by the google scholar so <clears throat> when you try to do that search this is what i like i wanted to show you here the topic which i have selected or i want i am doing a search is eeg signal processing but when i just typed eeg signal then you see next it so processing classification analysis acquisition feature extraction pre processing signal filtering signal denoising signal processing using matlab so these are keywords that are being used frequently during search that's why these are suggested once you type eeg signal and processing even if i type processing then the next will be popped up uh, the with the auto you know suggester or auto complete search that will be provided so you can use this feature also the, of the google scholar and <clears throat> same thing you can do it for same thing you can do it for google platform you can do it you can come to google platform sign it out and again repeat the same thing so here also can able to have, have some sort of idea like what the researcher or the author or you know the reader they are searching and they are trying to do in your field so you'll have a idea that what which sort of keyword they are searching so this keyword you can tabulate it in an excel format you can have a list and later on you can while you are framing your abstract and title you, you can use those keywords so that when you publish your article the the higher chances are there to you know somebody when they will search they will lend to your published article so that is the whole idea of it so uh, what we'll do just uh, to make you understand if you are not getting it through this uh, and live demo if i like to do what i'll do this is where i have not yet signed in if you see and here as i said what i'll do i will uh, simply type eeg signal you see and now you see this many here as you can see these are popped up so signal frequency range analysis this is in google platform so in the google platform also you can do that so what we will do uh, this you can you can have a list of it you can um, you can keep it in your excel file for for further analysis or further review of this keyword and what more you can do uh, let let me what i'll do let me clear it and i will select one keyword like uh, eeg signal analysis and you have a search over here in google platform then again another thing you can look into here is what else people are looking for the other thing other than this do you analyze an eeg signal what are the signal of eeg what are the different type of eeg wave then what are the method of eeg signal analysis so that also this this what they are looking for this also you can you you may need to take into consideration so 
it will add on some value to your you know uh, research while while you are preparing or drafting your article so this point you can keep in your mind there's the keyword related to the search that is being provided where most people are coming and searching might help you to to get further citation of your article which you'll be publishing so let me clear it moving ahead another thing like uh, other than google google scholar as this thing i have shown you what else you can do is you can have your account at web of science this i was trying and uh, once you have your account there is no need to uh, pay anything you can create a account profile then visit the master list journal or even uh, the web of science website and try to do a search journal search here and in the journal search you have this manuscript measure go to the manuscript measure after login so in the manuscript measure there are two search you can perform one at the master list of this uh, journal search of web of science another is the journal search here if you have your title and abstract ready then you can perform a search find journal so once you do that you put the title and abstract here the next thing that will uh, that will give you refined manuscript mature result and when you see this result interesting result is coming like you see here uh, here as as you can see this this is the title and this is the abstract you know you can if you do it you can able to know uh, 300 or even at least 100 word you need to use here and the search basically is to give you suggested journal list but what else it is doing is it is extracting the keyword from from the title and the abstract that i have used here so uh, to make you people or to understand is you see when some search engine is performing a search basically they are using this keyword to have a search and from this keyword the keyword here they have extracted is uh, hyperparameter optimization machine learning assemble stock prices based on the title and the abstract that i have used here then ensemble method then uh, magnificent detection ability then five fold cross validation all this keyword so from that this has been extracted and from this keyword matching uh, result now it will give you the suggested you see the result of it the suggested journal so the journal that they have published the article based on those keyword now it will give you about 30 to 40 journal they have suggested just i have kept the first page of it where you can see the first one is ieee assess and sensor and other journal where they are saying the similar article or article having those keyword has been published so you now you know a search platform like web of science is using keywords to target or to find out a journal similarly you can land to the manuscript if somebody will search through the keyword so that is the whole idea and even somebody he or she is not uh, confident which keyword to be used so they can come here if you have your title and abstract you can do it the way i have shown you then you will get the keyword and you can use those keyword as well and you can review them in the google scholar and google platform as well so this is how you can do it and it will help you to reach to the keyword keywords that that you you need to put in your manuscript as well as if you are looking for certain article what sort of you know keyword that to be used or that to that you need to search in the different platform vice versa you can do that so as a you know author also you can have this uh, this facility and as as a reader you or or as a researcher you are trying to or you are drafting your article you can use this method 
so thank you for watching this particular video please do like and subscribe to my channel and please share among with your friend and network uh, thank you again